One, go! And we're off for what could potentially be the last match in the Curie subdivision. Robo Jackets lining up. They've got a hatch panel placed for the Red Alliance. Robo Vikings dropping a hatch panel along with Strike Force. That doesn't bode well for Blue. It's now time for our tele-operated period. Over on the red side, Strike Force nearly tipping over as they were coming over to play defense up against Robo Jackets. Thankfully, they were able to right themselves, but now Robo Jackets are lining up. They've got a cargo into the rocket for the Blue Red Alliance. Their partners, Cyber Knights, missing a hatch panel from the human player station, grabbed it after a second time, now lining up to place it on the second tier of the rocket for red. Strike Force still giving Robo Jackets a hard time over on the red side of the field. Just over a minute and a half left. Robo Vikings are lining up and they are trying to get a piece of cargo into the rocket for blue. They've got it. Meanwhile, High Rollers are placing a cargo into the ship for the Blue Alliance, even up against some tough defense from 1073, the Force Team. A minute and 10 seconds remaining, fighting Robo Vikings. Got another hatch panel on the rocket for Blue, while their partners, High Rollers, are all tied up because of the Force Team's defense. One minute remaining in this match. 20 points separating these teams. Red Alliance is up. Blue Alliance needs to do something drastic to stay alive. Robo Jackets got a piece of cargo into the ship, even up against Strike Force's defense. Meanwhile, Cyber Knights have two levels of a rocket done. Now they're working on the cargo ship for the Red Alliance with 35 seconds remaining in this match. Force team still trying to give a hard time to the fighting Robo Vikings. They were still able to get a cargo into the rocket for Blue. Meanwhile, High Rollers are now fighting Robo Vikings. Excuse me, we're able to get another piece of cargo into the ship for Blue. 15 seconds remaining. Cyber Knights lining up, attempting a level three climb for the Red Alliance. While over on blue, 2607, the fighting Robo Vikings doing the same. Strike Force is going to attempt a level three, but it looks like Robo Vikings fell over with seconds to go. Looks like the Blue Alliance may have gotten one. Nine! That means that we do have a Curie subdivision winner. Congratulations to our number four alliance. And also, please give it up for our number two alliance, including teams 20.